Hi, Alex and Josh at Slash Tracks. This is Vanessa Angel. And I hear that Master Evil is having me watch Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys. My favorite holiday time movie. Now watch out because if you don't critique it well, Erica Sharp may make a deal with a demon and send some havoc your way. So watch out for those toys stuffed in the back of your closet. Happy watching, guys. All the best to you. Okay, Bye. Slashaholics, welcome to another episode of Slash Tracks. As always, Master Evil is here to make sure that uh, we do as we're told, and I have to hand the floor over to him. But this is the 80 Slasher Librarian, Josh LaRue, joined with Alex Vanover, my fellow prisoner. Um, can't glad wait to be here. Torture this week. I'm sure, yeah, you're glad to be here, right? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. the floor is yours, Mr. Evil, uh, Master Evil. Good evening, my dear puppets. How was your time since we last chatted? Did you get my gifts? Gifts? Uh, you mean the videos you sent? Indeed. Yeah, I opened the box and I was thrilled because I thought I was getting all the Star Wars films. Yay! Instead, I put in the first disc and I find you playing out the plot of Star Wars using hand puppets. Hand puppets! Yes! I'm a wonderful actor. Those were brilliant performances. Your Princess Leia and Rey were really disturbing. And you had Mr... Flyvel, Flivel, uh, Jesus Christ, he was playing Chewbacca. Yes, another brilliant performance. You are such a good actor, kitty. All he did is look at the camera and didn't move. Such an evil kitty. And Alex, what did you get? I can hardly wait to hear this one. And how did you like your movie, Alex? <laughs> I know how you said you didn't really care for the one where they went back to the Old West, so I sent you the newest Bill and Ted movie. Absolutely evil, yes. Old West, wait, wait, wait. That's Back to the Future. That's not Bill and Ted. Hold, hold on. I'm actually pretty okay with this one i was stoked to see the new bill and ted and uh josh man, josh your constant complaining uh has caused master evil to step up his torture on me i asked for a large popcorn and a drink and he only gave me a small drink and he also canceled my furlough request for the weekend so thanks a lot bud oh oh gee did i did i really cause you torture small popcorn and i cost you your furlough where were you gonna go to a spa oh I am so sorry that I caused you that pain. Well, I got home the other day, and all my coffee had been replaced uh, with decaf. Yeah. It, only decaf. That's all I have in my apartment, so thanks a lot for that. Silence! I promised you last time I would finally break you. I can't even sell oh, Next God. movie. And finally... Mr. Flivel and I are confident your sanity will finally be ours tonight. Honey, if you don't clean out the litter box, you aren't getting a juice box. Ma! I told you I would clean it out after I'm done breaking my prisoner's spirits! You told me that last time, too, and I still had to do it. Ma! Promise! Oh, and what kind of juice is it? Strawberry kiwi, sweetie. Your favorite. Yes! It is time to introduce you to your new torture. And this movie will really pull your strings. You got the film that Charlie Brand wouldn't want to make so he gave it to sci-fi to puke out puppet master versus demonic toys be prepared for 
horribly recreated puppets, wooden performances, continuity errors, and worse yet, Corey Feldman. No! God, yes. no! Pull the strings! <laughs> I want chocolate cake with whipped cream, too! Okay, so while Master Evil is out uh, getting cake with whipped cream in a kiwi strawberry juice box, uh, we're going to sit here, and before we start the movie, Puppet Master vs. Demonic Toys, we're going to have a little chat here about uh, how your torture has gotten worse. Uh, decaf coffee and no furlough. That's what I'm to understand. Well... What I, when he first captured us, uh, he told me, uh, he gave me a list of certain expectations that I could have as a prisoner, uh, and what, what could happen and what couldn't happen. Now, under no circumstances did I ever agree, uh, to regular coffee or decaf over regular. Um, I was, I was supposed to have a certain amount of weekends where I had off from being a prisoner so it's starting to turn into where I'm actually kind of like a prisoner. And I'm not very happy because you keep you, egging him on. I got a list from him in the beginning, too. You know what it was? What? It was a road map of Ohio. When I opened it, it said, you're fucked. That was it. That was my list. <sighs> yeah. Well, listen, I don't know where Ma Master Evil supposedly lives in Oregon. I wasn't aware that he lived in Springwood, for one thing, Josh. I don't know Number why it was an Ohio roadmap. It just was. Well, here's my other question. And this is totally off topic. Why is he eating cake and drinking uh, juice with it? It seems like he should have milk with that. Now, that is an odd pairing. <laughs> but don't let him know that I said that. Please do not let him see this. Because then he might actually just take away coffee completely from me. Oh, I'm sure that Mr. Evil has his reason. It's Master Evil! I heard that. I'm listening all the time. Josh, I'm yep. not listening to, to you there, Alex, so don't worry about it. What? No, I know, I know. <laughs> See, I told you, I told you, he's listening to me, he's not even listening to you, so you're safe. You can say all you want. He didn't even know what you said about him having a weird pairing of no milk with his cake and juice instead, and you're, he's like, he's like your BFF, he's your BFF. Well, Josh, you attract more flies with honey, first of all. You're and... Alex Evil. <laughs> Alex Van Evil. Listen, I'll do whatever I have to do to come out on top, all right? You might as well just call me the dirtiest player in the Slash Tracks game, first of all. I'll lie, cheat, and steal to get out of some of this shit. But you have to be the baby face all the time and what? stare evil in the face and confront it. And that's why I you end up in the situations you're in. Yes, yes. I've had this treatment since before I opened my mouth the first time, though. The map I, said you're fucked. I got a McRib that was frozen. I mean, how do I got a... You got prime rib. We've been over this. Cocoa Pebbles with Fruity Pebbles in the box. No prizes. No prize. Alex, no prizes. No glow-in-the-dark spoons. No magnets for the refrigerator. Nothing. Well, magne <laughs> magnets are overrated, first of all. My magnets actually uh, pointed in like in an arrow towards the counter, which is actually where my prime rib was located. It was, but the prime rib had been out of the oven and rested too long, Josh, on my birthday. And uh, it wasn't quite as good as I had anticipated, but he did a good job. Mother really? Evil did a good job. I asked for, for no pickles on my McRib, my frozen McRib. It had extra pickles, so fuck you. you know, I just I don't... If I wasn't a prisoner, I, I don't know if I'd take this. But I okay. just happened to be chained to my desk today because of your fat mouth. Yeah, it's Thanks my fault lot. that you're Thanks kidnapped by Master Evil. Maybe you, you, your little inconveniences will get a little worse, a little more worse. How would you like it if I was over here living the good life and I, I was best friends with him and you're in a dank dungeon with a little mattress and a little towel with holes in it and that's your blanket and all this other shit. How would you like that if it was reversed? I've had that situation because I've lived in some terrible apartments with multiple roommates. So I've been there, Josh. Uh, if, you know, it's hard to have a girl come over when you're living like that. But if you just try hard enough, things can happen. All right. Really? Did you have you a just drunk don't believe rodeo? in yourself? Did you have a drunk rodeo clown that sets in a barrel and stares at you all night? I don't think so. His name's I, Fred, by the way. I and don't this know. This is not that the I... life he chose. 
So Master it's not Evil his knows fault. a lot of people. Master Evil knows a lot of people. Well, apparently he's he's, he's in on the the circus or the rodeo clown circuit or something, and it's not Fred's fault. But the point is, you wouldn't like it. And regardless, tonight we have to watch Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys, and that's the I most know. torture of all. I'm aware of it, and there's no way that we can even get out of this situation because that's the one thing he's steadfast on is that we have to watch these clunkers. Oh, and really? I've read... you, can't get, you can't get furlough to get out? No, this movie, I've, I did a little research when he decided that we, he was going to torture us with this. There's not even in really reviews available for the film. How there's not even reviews for it. it. You have internet? Yeah. You don't have internet? I have a Game Boy with a Game Boy camera. Well, mine's and the only the printer's out the bank. I only have 3G though. Like it's not that fast. It's uh I don't isn't your Game Boy on dial up? I think yes. he was telling me something about that. Oh my god. Dial up. It's got up American Game Boy. it's got it's got the first edition of America online installed. Oh my god. He is a sedu- he is a dirty rotten scoundrel. He does not like you. Okay, so can we just watch the movie? I mean, I, it it's bad, but it's not as bad as hearing about how you got decaf coffee and a small popcorn and no furlough. And I bet you're even still going to his house on occasion. I guarantee it. And I bet when you go, he gets the place all nice and everything for you, right? Well, he's... He's in, it's inviting and it's comfortable. And if I, you know, he wants to make me feel at ease, it's not like I'm a prisoner all the time. It's not like we're prisoners all the time. Mother Evil has been on one lately and he has not been caring. Mother Evil's typically when we wake up, a couple Pop Tarts, some pancakes. It's a good situation. And Master Evil is blowing it for me. Right? The movie's starting. You're going to need headphones. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk maybe later. Let's just do this. Let's get this over with. Starting. All right, go. You got the angel on the screen, Sci-Fi Pictures Presents. You bet I do. Yeah. This company is no longer in business. (laughs) Oh, that's a major surprise. An association with five people that wanted to make a movie. This sounds like the beginning of Home Alone 5. You never noticed... Lost in production. <laughs> right. You ever notice uh, Home Alone 4's logo is like Home Alone with the house underneath it like it's taking a crap and the house comes out? Yeah, it's crapping out the film that they're about ready to make. Like the 4 is like right below them. Wow, it looks like we're in like a Windows 95 CD-ROM game. Yeah, this was actually made for Sega Saturn. This was their first time they ever tried to release a film. The Sega CD adapter. The Sega... Sega does what Nintendo. <clears throat> this is a holiday movie, by the way. I don't know why why uh, Master Evil didn't have us wait till Christmas for this one. Because he is a son of a bitch. <laughs> this is definitely full motion video from the mid '90s CDs based video game systems for sure. This looks like it was filmed on a Game Boy. The Game Boy camera, like you print it off, and this is what the picture looks like. Okay, we can't even read the sign. Yeah, I can't there even see there what it go. says. Doll Hospital. That's where I go because I don't have a good HMO. Wow, they, they got young people working at this doll hospital. <laughs> Mommy, did you get me that really ugly toy for Christmas? Yeah, these kids are going to be a little, nothing but disappointed here in a second. Oh, you got me exactly what I wanted. The really horrifying looking teddy bear and baby doll. What the, what the little girl really wanted was to have her bangs styled and cut for Christmas. They're lucky they got anything. The mom was about to give them a baby brother or sister for Christmas. <laughs> Yeah, Dad. I'm not bitter that I got hired, or that I didn't get hired. I'm bitter that I got hired for this. We need we need some more silver hairspray for Corey. <laughs> he looks like he just uh, walked off uh, the audition for Egon Spangler in the Ghostbusters reboot. <laughs> not even the Ghostbusters reboot, like a Ghostbusters cartoon. <laughs> 
so this movie came out in 2004. So, yep. so Corey Feldman hadn't done anything since like National Lampoon's Last Resort and Lost Boys 2. Uh, the tribe hadn't come out or isn't going to come out for another three years in this, uh, at this point in time. So he's, he's saying yes to anything at this point, I think. He also, you know, cut people up into small pieces. Skip those pages. So he guarded that formula with his life, but Corey Feldman has it. He did a time, shit job. Right. Time for your, I had to kill him. Oh, you know, grandpa <laughs> too long, but I got the book. Now, come here so I can uh, give you your shot. No explosion. Just because the movie is low budget and, and it premiered on the Sci-Fi Channel, why does Corey Feldman have to be a terrible actor right, right now? No, He's right. normally good, like, in a lot of his things. He's terrible right now. They were splitting the set with the, with the production of Breaking Bad, by the way. Yeah, uh, th that's it. <laughs> this is in the RV. Walt's like, what are you cooking that batch in, Corey? Get his blood is, what is he checking his blood sugar? Corey's doing a little slapstick with that facial expression there. His hair is changing color every time he like, comes back on screen. Yeah, they didn't have enough money for a Polaroid camera to do scene matching, so they just kind of did the best they could. <laughs> I just imagine they have a bunch of cans of that Halloween hairspray. Why is she adding to the formula that the guy who uh, created the life. formula is guarded with his life? Why, why does she get to add to it? You know, the next time it'd be like, old man Toulon and young girl Toulon protected this with their damn life. <laughs> hey, ladies and gentlemen, we have another surge sighting in that Bunsen beaker over there. <laughs> They don't. They can't even get a, a a gate that opens on its own. The dude's like literally <laughs> lifting the gate up. <laughs> <laughs> Our budget will not give us an automatic gate. Sorry. <laughs> just lift the fucker. Okay, things just got hot. Uh, Miss Claudia is in the house. I was talking about the assistant, but yes, she's good looking too. Oh, yeah, the guy who looks like a crisp and clever light. He must work out. And quit watching him. Her blouse, those those sleeves are something else. They Should deserve we try their to own. Try to focus in on things, or just let it be blurry. Just, just keep going. Stop. We can't do a retake. Which puppets should we pick from the franchise? The most boring ones. You didn't say the magic words. Dude, I'd be scared of that thing behind him. See that doll back there? Bring yeah. that fucker to life. The one on the left? Yeah. That looks like a Jimmy Durante puppet. Hey, so Corey had better masks and props in uh, the final chapter when he was like seven. Right. Compared, yeah, he he. So he, Tommy Jarvis has really uh, regressed in his uh, his skills here. His dreams have slowly died in middle age. Oh yeah, his his skill in toy making and props went to shit. I always like six shooter though from the Puppet Master movies. It's a cool design. Oh, they're definitely really watching that on that screen. That's not added in post at all. <laughs> Wow, they're watching. I thought old man Toulon guarded that with his life. They're they're watching it at the exact moment, the exact moment that he found the formula to work. My old man guarded this company with his life. God, this and I've got he, it now. You can tell how low budget this film is just by how like what kind of film they shot it on. Like it looks like a TV tape. Yeah. <laughs> It looks like a TV movie. It was a TV movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's I. There's no wonder. Jesus, are they crucifying those dolls? Like, why not? Why don't they bring the leech puppet back? She was freaky as hell. I think they just pick. Well, you know, this is non-canon. I did a little research. 
I think they just picked some of the most well, like most recognizable puppets. Like that looks like Super Freddy's head shrunk. Right. I do like that one right there, the one uh, blade. Oh yeah, blades on uh, our thumbnail. Yeah. Obviously, Corey. <laughs> it's either working or I'm having a seizure. It's amazing <laughs> that I'm in this movie. <laughs> What do you think Corey got paid for this film? Like, is he is he at scale at this point? Yeah, hundred grand. I don't know. Yeah, what what did he get paid? Fifty thousand in a bag of coke. They're like, we will pay for your angels hey, at your house. You calling Pinhead. You get uh, dancing lessons. That's all I thought when he introduced Pinhead. It's, he's like, and Pinhead, who are you calling Pinhead? You open the box, Pinhead has come. Does he think they're going to speak back to him? Like, he's talking to them like he's waiting for them to speak. Rude puppets. <laughs> don't He'll be afraid of the puppets you. that are alive. Yeah, don't be afraid of the puppets that just came to life that have weapons. That you can see their strings on the screen. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? Yes. Did you see the strings? You know how some horror movies will hide the villain, you know, for most of the movie in the shadows? This movie said, fuck all that. <laughs> we're, we're putting them loud and proud right in the, underneath a fucking lamp. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to put gonna the light strings as much as possible. right in the light. <laughs> I've defeated Jason and vampires. You should listen to me. Um, so I'm getting, when he's talking to his daughter and the way he's overacting, I'm getting a very bulk and skull, uh, aura from like Power Rangers. I'm just expecting yes. them, yeah, to show up at the youth center in the next that scene. music start playing. <laughs> Dad, why is that little robotic ladybug keep, you know, driving around our, our room here? I have no idea, but he's explaining to his daughter right now how after the puppets come to life and work for them, they will be able to finally find out who the Power Rangers really are. Ah. You better listen to her, man, because after 10,000 years, she's free. <laughs> and your lips. They found a homeless guy gave him a razor, and put him in a suit for this role. They could not afford anybody else. He looks like they pulled him off the street of Santa Monica Boulevard. That actor, please don't be watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's homeless. He don't have a TV. We're good. Yeah, he's not watching right now. He's looking at a garbage can for food somewhere. <laughs> Shit, dude. <laughs> You're fired. We're done. <laughs> There's a line that you don't cross. And the <clears throat> random business guy in uh, Demonic Toys versus Puppet Master. You don't cross that line. All Wait right. a sec. Same shot from earlier. <laughs> yeah, reuse footage. He's <laughs> still holding the, the, the gate up. There's a lot of menacing walking in this movie, by the way. You know it's who like, the guy looks like? On the script, there's whole pages that just says menacingly walk to this room. Menacingly walk to you got to give the, compo like, the composer credit. He's going for it. There's the Vulcan the Skull music. Yeah. I'm surprised that the sheets match the pillowcases on this production, that they were actually able to get a full set. I wonder if the curtains match the drapes. That's a fantastic question. On the assistant. <laughs> yeah. These guys are sneaky fuckers here. Let's go to the front door with our flashlights and park the car right in front of the house. They can hunch like nobody's business. The door was just open and they're just. This, oh, is, oh, a home, oh, this, oh. this is a Home Alone movie, except for the puppets are going to do the, the traps this time. Well, they, can, they got trip wires built in. I've never noticed that before, though. <laughs> Those strings were just right there on the damn screen. Yeah, right towards the middle. Right in the light. 
God, they're not. Apparently, the protecting it with their life is just a very broad statement. <laughs> the book's just laying out on the table. These dolls are so funny. That was the wrong one to pick up, buddy. <laughs> Give me a hug. Hey, chokehold's illegal. Again, definitely watching that on the screen, not at the post. You've got really bad ninjas. Does that guy have a tattoo of a money sign on his hand? I don't know, but Corey Feldman's like, what's going on in here? What are those puppets that I reanimated and brought back to life that are all homicidal? Nothing could possibly be happening. Get away from that book that I guarded my life. He just shot him with that needle. Does that mean that guy's going to, like, start serving his family? Dude. They're, like, injecting him with that crap, slicing his ankles. What kind of, Hey, what size rounds go in that uh, puppet's gun? I mean, could they possibly do anything? Right. They've blown heads off before. Oh, come on. They, that would, those would be a mild inconvenience. <laughs> I'm on fire. I'm on fire. <laughs> Stop, drop, roll. Well, we're back into Sega Saturn, uh, Sega CD visual mode again. We could have filmed this, Josh. If we decided we wanted to make a movie, we could have filmed this. It was so hard to even find this movie. You guys are <laughs> lucky to be seeing this movie right now if you're watching it. Okay, I've decided again uh, that the driver looks like someone else. He looks like what Bret Hart looks like now. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in here, Dad? <laughs> I'm the best puppet master there is, I'm the best puppet master there was, and I'm the best at sci-fi we'll ever have. The fire's out, honey, like ten seconds ago. Those puppets obviously don't know spray stop, your dad. drop, and roll. Yeah, spray Corey for, for deciding to do this film. Oh my god, she listened to us. She, like, sprayed near his genitals, <laughs> near his crotch. Holy crap, he's wearing the same underwear he was wearing in uh, Final Chapter. These are my horror movie uh, boxers I wear. They're good luck. This is the police. The car says so. Well, they're wooden, and they were on fire. It's a stripper cop. Um, police officers can't just go into houses without search warrants, right? You right. can't, the cop couldn't just go in there. You have the the right to remain turned on. <laughs> he says to Corey, she says to Corey, you have the right to remain sexy. <laughs> Your sign says doll hospital, though, but you say puppet shop. Something's mighty strange here. She so Corey choosing to do this movie. This is a this is a way to keep his health insurance, right? This is the I got to keep my SAG card situation, yeah, right? Yeah. And he's supposed to be like an old man too. That's the yeah. worst part. He's he's got to be like thirty two right here. Thirty two, yeah. He's like six years younger than me. He's yeah. He's way younger than me right here. This cop does not know boundaries. Okay, she's mm -hmm. barging in without a warrant. Assaulting the people without the, you know, just grabbing their face. I swear, I thought if she came in like that, I would be like, okay, who called the stripper? <laughs> I was oh, just going to say that. <laughs> Wheel the cake in! No, Google, I didn't ask you to search for who found this, who brought the stripper. My phone just said, this is what I found for who bought the stripper. <laughs> Stop it. We sell drugs to puppets. <laughs> we, we reanimate puppets with heroin. Yeah, like my veins. Veins, joints, potato, potato. 
this movie is like an hour and 26 minutes long and the first 17 minutes is spent in Corey's like workshop area. <laughs> the puppet repair shop that's also a doll hospital. That does not require a warrant for a cop to barge in. You're supposed to disappoint me sitting down. You have a whole team of people that do that, but I need toys. I want a goose who weighs a golden egg, daddy. <laughs> yes. He's I want trying a bean to... feast. He's trying to explain to her how the finish is going to work. It's going to be a schmoz. Because <laughs> it's Bret Hart. <laughs> yeah. We're having a dusty finish on this film, okay? He's going to get fired and spell out WCW. <laughs> Oh, here we go. Well, this is Virgins R Us Incorporated, and that was the first thing you asked me in my interview. Yes. <laughs> I have not did... gotten any dick recently. <laughs> you did read the yellow pages correctly. I am a virgin. Hey, whenever I'm waiting tables and someone says, hey, excuse me, waiter, I'm always like, yes, customer? Right. <laughs> when, she call, when she called her a receptionist. And, you know, this is perfectly normal to just go with your bosses that just question if you're a virgin and uh, are obviously taking you to a secret floor in an elevator. Nothing, nothing to, uh, <laughs> there's somebody closing the elevator doors, too. Did you see that? Yeah, where's the cop uh, with no search warrant who just uh, barges into scenes when you actually need her? <laughs> She's needed right now. Christine, are you a virgin? Yes. You won't be much longer. <laughs> Christine, do you party? Are you cool? And they can smell virgins a mile away. Jeez, I must have just, you know, reeked up until, like, my 21st birthday. I must have just absolutely <laughs> reeked if people could smell virgins. God, I must have reeked until I was, like, my 13th birthday. <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the set of the video game Doom. Right. They look like they're in a first-person shooter. Look at this. All right, now turn left. Hit L on the keyboard. Here comes Sarge. Oh, my God, a face hugger just flew at the screen. Oh, we got demons, too. It's the board it's of directors. My, it's my own personal de-virginizing room. I lied. I'm a slut. A big slut. I'm, I'm very much acquainted with Mr. Dick. Monopoly. Or we could play Operation. Have any LSD? Yeah. The guy from Redneck Zombie shows up. Near, 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 near. He's taking a piss and just smiling the biggest grin ever. She's in a dungeon with bosses who are obviously wanting to hurt her, and she's talking about how she's scared of a jack-in-the-box. <laughs> You never said that until now. Calm down. What's the safe word before I turn this crank? <laughs> I'm not supposed to touch the crank. We just talked about this in the HR meeting. My crank turning days are over. Welcome home, Taryn. Does this jack-in-the-box look familiar? <laughs> Turn it some more! That's a demonic toy, I know it is! That's a, that's the, that's a jump scare for this movie. Is she a virgin? Oh, that doll said bitch, that is edgy. It's good to see that Vern Troyer got some more work after Austin Powers.
<laughs> hey, it's a double toy. It's a baby doll and a motorboat. <laughs> he should have just said he wanted some milk. Cocaine. There, a doll collection. They actually, uh, they hired Corey for this uh, role because he was able to save the production money because he just rubbed his own personal cocaine into his hair to whiten yeah, it. Yeah. And shits. <laughs> we're 23 Never. minutes into the film now, and we're still in the doll hospital. Who called the cop, by the way? I'm a little, I'm a little iffy about this police officer. I don't think she's a real cop. Yeah, no police officers have that quick of reaction time either, by the way. They, like, you're dead if you call the cops, basically, if you need them anywhere, basically. Uh, I'm still, I'm still waiting for the reveal that she's a stripper. It's coming. Well, it's right, freezing. Corey, make people think it's cold out there. <laughs> well, it's freezing outside. No need to put pants on. What is that on his nose? Oh, it's blood. Yeah, yeah, but he didn't have a cut on his nose in the no, previous scene. It's not a cut. That's just blood from the coke, and he smeared it on his nose, wiping it away. His septum finally deviated in yeah. real time while they're filming the scene. They're like, we can't it's, reshoot this. Just roll it. It's literally eating out through his nose. Love you, Corey Feldman. Drunk. Because <laughs> that's what normally happens in your house. Wait, you stumble. There's always wait, chemicals to knock over. Wait a minute. So she responded to a fire, but there's no fire department at the scene of a fire. No, the budget's like you can have a cop, <laughs> paramedic, or a fireman. You can't have all or <laughs> any combination thereof. Sorry, we don't even have a budget for the for a cop. We're going to get you a stripper cop. Trust me, we'll say she's a cop. Nobody will be the wiser. She's played the part before. She knows what she's doing. She works for, you know, tips. It'll be fine. Get some pants. <laughs> Such good writing. Oh. And a happy new year. You're free to go. And also, I loved you in License to Drive. Have a great night. Merry Christmas. Ooh. Checking her out, and she's checking out Mr. Dick. Dad, are you going to marry her and have my... Is she going to be my fifth stepmom? You're not even my daughter. Shut up. She's got to be, like... 18 here and Corey is like 32 so if we're doing the math Corey had her when he was like 14 yep sounds about right god help me Josh, what the hell did Master Evil get us into with this film? This is I know, horrible. I can't, I'm speechless sometimes on this like, one. Like, yeah, I'm having a hard time ripping on it because it's doing such a good job of doing it for itself. Ooh, an Iron Maiden. Those dolls really did a number on her. They got corn syrup all over her neck. She's not even, like, putting up a fight at all. She's just like, like eh. She's like, I just wanted to have enough money to buy a car. I'm going to die a virgin. She's, she's looking at Vanessa going, let me, I'm starting to think there's no board of directors. Is, is that, is, am I thinking correctly here? There's no board of directors, is there? Uh, fire up the Technodrome. Shredder. <laughs> what are you doing, Shredder?
that snake looking thing over there looks exactly like Serpentor's weapon that he came with when we were kids for G.I. Joe. Right. She's wearing a female version of the robe that the guy wore in Ghoulies when he was having his satanic ritual downstairs. Dude, and now I gotta do the... Shut up! Let's go! <laughs> in the name of Lorik, Prince of Elves, movie, be gone! By the power of the magic stone, go back to hell! <clears throat> Christian Bell. Oh, it's Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys versus Little Monsters. That looks like uh, Howie Mandel. <laughs> Howie Mandel? How you doing, bud? All right. This is, it's, it's a triple crossover. <laughs> what are you up to, Fred Savage? How you doing, bud? Kind of looks yeah, you're like... going to have to give them away by the truckload. If you see who, what kid is going to ask for these, woman? Your plan is flawed. Kind of looks like Tim Curry in Legend a little bit. Prepubescent uh, devil from Legend. I'm just getting little monster vibes off of the makeup, though. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, he, this guy also needs to get his uh, fingernails checked out because there's definitely a fungus situation going on here. His name is Bell. He's like... Pray to me. Swear to me. His Hold breath on, has to smell like shit. You're not very good at making toys. You're hot as hell, but iPad or shitty Christmas pal. Santa, I want the iPad. It's my creation. Are these toys real? Is that demon Roman? <laughs> Is he going to go fight with Spartacus in a minute? He does look like he's wearing like a centurion outfit. The demon just looked directly it down the camera's pipe. <laughs> he looked directly into the camera. Was he eating her blood or her poop? Looks like he had a chocolate bar recently. God, I'd love to have a chocolate bar right now. I've got a couple Three Musketeers. Here, I'll oh, hand man. you one. <laughs> oh, That'd yeah, cool. please. Like, 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 I go to hand you one, and, like, your wife hands you one off screen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing this guy's, like, uncredited. The guy who plays the demon, Bale? Why did he have to just pop up like that? Like, no, hey, there's links. Uh. I'm here. Yeah, exactly. The guy's like, you guys promised me a sandwich. Where's the sandwich? No, he's looking down at his feet because he's like, I can't believe my life led me here. I was happy or homeless. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? I should. They said they said they'd have craft services. They said be in a movie. They said it'd be fun. They said. He went from WWE I'm not champion. You. I'm not touching you. <laughs> the assistant went from WWE champion to WCW champion to getting kicked in the head by Goldberg to this. This is right next door to Three Lawn Doll Factory. <laughs> Still in Doll Factory here. Yep. Yeah, because the puppets have, like, Phillips and flatheads screws in them. Your nose was not that fucked up, buddy. Somebody's a, somebody's a drama queen. Or that book that you guard with your life that you left laying out on the table as you both slept <laughs> in the other side of the house. <laughs> Dad, we know that they weren't here to actually see the making of the film. <laughs> so. 
What was it, Dad? Blade has a knife, and then the little scrapey thing Dennis used on you to, you know, scrape at your teeth. Oh, man, those are the worst, especially when they get at the gum line. Ugh! Well, that woman was definitely not a virgin. I can't believe that they can afford flashbacks. I should have found that suspicious. Especially when she said, I will have your puppets. <laughs> but I should have, yeah, I should have figured, I should have figured that she wanted the puppets when she told me she wanted the puppets. <laughs> it's something. <laughs> it's not a bug, it's, it's something. Bug. <laughs> that looks like a magnet that we had on our fridge when we were kids. Exactly. She told me it was a spy camera, but it was so darn cute. It's actually a firework that cost 47 cents at any local fireworks stand. It was a bug. Get it? <laughs> it was a bug that was actually a, a bug. You get it? I get it now. God, this movie, I'm telling you, this is good. This might be the worst one we've watched. Master Evil outdid himself. This is awful. Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys versus Little Monsters versus Flashbacks. <laughs> versus Goss and Band-Aids. Versus Virgins. Versus Doom 3D. And brought to you by Bret Hart and Ico Pro. All right, somebody close the doors now. <laughs> the guy, <laughs> the guy is like, <laughs> wait, was this? Have they? Was that the first time they told us how many days are left to shop for Christmas? Oh my god! Did the, move, did the movie start by saying two days or something, or did they just pull a middle of the movie narrator right there, like middle That's, of the movie? Yes, they just. <laughs> I had not heard a narrator prior. Well, he's already told him to go away, so he ain't coming back. Because I'm not just a doll maker, I also know about microchips and software and... You don't have to call her, she'll just show up. Yeah, why do they have to call her? She'll just be doing her nightly rounds where she breaks into his house. Yeah, he needed all those bandages on his nose earlier, obviously. He, he could have decided to continue to play Tommy Jarvis, but instead, he, th his career led him here. She's like, Dad, look at that. There's virgin blood on there. Serial searcher. <laughs> Not Google. Serial searcher. You know what you'd call somebody that hacked that site and destroyed it? Who? What? A serial killer. <laughs> serial searcher killer. I'm a dad. I get to make dad jokes. Um, I think the first order of business for Corey and his daughter is to replace that fucking TV in the workshop. Because that thing looks like it's from 1973. <gasps> is it just me or is this the most well-lit basement of all time? It's a screen that looks identical to the screen we were on a second ago. What is Dad, this? Dad, that's just another pop-up ad. You look at way too much porn. Corey, can we get five more shots of you putting your glasses back down? <laughs> I don't think we have enough. Corey, we love anything that has to do with the bridge of your nose. We want to highlight it and showcase it for the film. Band-aids, glasses, cuts, we want it all. This is definitely what really happens on on websites in the early 2000s. Oh, for sure. I, I can't count on my, on my hands and feet how many times my laptop actually burst into sparks and flames. <laughs> it said, you're being tracked. The, the, 
they just destroyed the camera like two minutes ago. They already knew where you were. How far could they have gotten in two minutes? <laughs> You've been located. <laughs> this girl thinks that this is her big break. She's like, I'm going to be in a movie with, with two stars. This is it. Yeah, that is the base of people right there that ask for the Christmas pals for Christmas. Like five of them. You know what they're actually, I'm expecting to see Sinbad at any moment. They're trying to get a Turbo Man. Let's get, grab a random teens off the streets. We need you guys to be really excited about this scene for these toys. Oh, you was making a Puppet Master demonic toy movie? Sweet! <laughs> what the fuck is that? This may be the first time that the thumbnail uh, I made is better than the film we're watching. <laughs> right. She is the best part of this entire movie. Oh, she's uh, a dime still at this point. She is like her over her acting is like perfect for the character. It's just perfect. Not even your sworn enemies. She feels uh, like the only believable character in this film. Plan B. Another, another ladybug. <laughs> See you fuck with plan B. Well, it's a good thing they bought the magnet three pack because if they would have just went with the the one bug, they wouldn't be able to bug them again. Plot, 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 plot. Substance. Story substance. Pop yeah, why would, your mom? Why would they mention that for like no other reason that it, it's going to come into effect later on? Hopefully, we are, we're we're playing actual human beings with with lives. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the White House, that's how I became the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> <laughs> Pulled up to the house. <laughs> We're going to see uh, Jazz thrown out the doors head first here in a second. Ah! I had a buddy that always thought on sitcoms the inside of the house was the actual inside of the house they show from the outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like, no, dude, that's not how it works. <laughs> the Brady Bunch house, the exterior uh, of the house, just that actual house just sold for like a million dollars. And it's like a house from the 60s. It's just like an old ass. I just like ruined half my half like a bunch of listeners like the way of seeing sitcoms. What do you mean the Golden Girls didn't actually live at the Golden Palace? What are you trying to say? Exposition, exposition. We talked about this touching thing. And herpes. He had wait, herpes. Wait a minute. So is all this supposed to be happening on the same day? Because Vanessa Angel's still wearing the same power suit with the gigantic bell-bottom sleeves. This is all the same day? Because wasn't, wasn't she wearing that outfit the night when the toys like first came, the puppets first came to life? Yeah, I don't even think they have a house. I think she invested everything in, in her hell bonds. Yeah, that's it. She's got one outfit. This is the next day. Oh. They look oh, like they're in I'm glad he was talking to a puppet. All I saw was the back shot of him looking <laughs> down, saying, Come on, little guy. You're still young yet, man. The drug shouldn't she... be having that kind of effect. Was she making a fucking cocktail? She pouring a gimlet for Corey on set here? Yes, in fact, that is what is happening. She's making a kamikaze for him. He's like, the only way I can get through this fucking film is if I'm good and drunk. Here comes the cop who nobody called. Sergeant. Yes, Sergeant. Yeah, that's what I am. I'm a sergeant. I'm actually only 32 years old. <laughs> My career's in a bit of a, uh, a landing pattern. You should never play with sharp toys. <laughs> sharp toys? You should go to dull toys. <laughs> yes, go, go to that. 
I, I he's moving not, it. He's moving it again. Over it. <laughs> he did it when he put it down with his arm. The budget did not did not supply a, a working gate, folks. That actually used to be a movie marker. You'd be like, I don't know yet. See. They haven't finished the script yet, daughter. <laughs> And they need to be drunk. Keep pouring that tequila and that vodka. Listen, you need to stay here and keep working on these toys. I'm going to go hit on that hot police officer. <laughs> this looks like they're heading to Nilbog. <laughs> this looks like the, the town. This is Nilbog at night, by the way. Everybody's <laughs> asleep. They go to sleep at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Remember this time of night? And it's like four in the afternoon. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> the dad's the dad's driving around looking for something to eat because the kid pissed on everything. Yeah. At least it didn't go the other way. She's a traffic cop too. I seriously, you have distracted the shit out of me by pointing out that he pulls that that thing up with his hand because they it was a close up of him pull, pull, pulling it up. It doesn't even go all the way down. Either. Wow. That blows my mind. Put my hand on the tree and say, Ye, I call the Trantor. <laughs> what are the odds of that happen? What movie was that? Come on. Ernest, you're yeah. stupid. Oh, come on. I haven't seen that movie in like five years. I want to see it again, though. She'd make us watch Oh, oh, they almost broke the, the gate there. This, this, he couldn't hold it up. His delts and traps weren't good enough to hold the sign. Give it enough Dude, clearance. Basically. Oh, I thought he was like, I thought he had no pants on for a second. Like, I, it's, Still in the boxers from the previous scene. Yes. <laughs> Did we get enough shots of the truck? No, let's get three more. Hey, they're at Cochran's factory for Halloween three. His uh his outfit here, he looks like a guy who knows that aliens exist, but nobody believes him. Science teacher that's going through the force and sleeping in his car. He's about ready to start making meth, yeah. He's about ready to break bad. <laughs> Except for in his case, he just used up all of his product. He's like Indiana I can't. Jones just swings by on top of the screen here. We can't sell this Coke. I need to snort it and I need to put it in my hair. We are jest. We are jesting. Jesting. I love Corey Feldman. I uh, love. I, I love Corey Feldman too. Yeah, uh, everything yeah, he's he, done. If he wants to do Coke, all the power to him. Stand by me, Lost Boys, Goonies, uh, License to Drive. I love Corey Feldman. If you're listening, please be on our show. <laughs> We we will we will supply coke. I think. If, whatever he or wants. No coke. Be honest whatever, with you. Whatever. Yeah. If he needs more band aids and gauze and he wants to wear it on his nose while we're filming, you know, no problem. This sergeant is just gets around town, man. Oh, you cannot do your strip show here. There are children present. Stop it. <laughs> the guy with the award looks like if Goldberg really let himself go. Oh my God, she really is Rita Repulsa. <laughs> Ew, yes, yes. Look at her neck. Look at that thing around her neck. She is. What is she wearing? She looks like she's uh Vanessa Angel's head is just one of the many heads that she chose from her collections of heads uh in, from Return of Oz, Return to Oz, the witch yeah. who has all the heads in the cases. That looks like the outfit. Now we're, in, now we're in the bunker from Day of the Dead. Demonic Toys versus Puppet Master versus the Wheelers. Oh, God, stop. That's the most terrifying thing ever. You Even though they couldn't really grab you, they'd have to, like, bite you. <laughs> they just have to bash you with their wheel hands the wheel, over and yeah. over again. They're just so freaky looking. I don't want to think about it. That movie scarred the shit out of me when I, mean, I was, like, 30. <laughs> Not when I was a kid. When I was, like, 30, it scarred the shit out of me. No, it scared me as a kid. When Dorothy's locked into that room with TikTok and they're out there wheeling around, that that's a pretty scary scene. 
sorry, man. I didn't mean to kill your girlfriend. I've got legs, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, because he's a baby. So he just made a sexual reference by saying that he's going to crap himself on her? Or use his baby tools. It's Mr. Buttface to you. I love that Corey Feldman, the, the, the baby calls him Buttface, and he immediately knows he's talking him. to him. Yeah. yeah. I am Buttface. He got me. That door said 24 earlier. Now it says 42. Now this feels like a Saved by the Bell episode, like where they're in the mall and they had, they're trying to sell the, the concert tickets the way this is shot. <laughs> the security guards are chasing them. That thing's not even walking on the ground. It's just hovering above the floor. <laughs> I like you better. Please stop punching me. I didn't know you before now, so how can I like you any differently? How dare you throw me? I've got something in my diaper to give you, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even let me give you what I had in my diaper. God, look what that Santa's got in his diaper. Good God. Yeah, he looks like he took a big load of Christmas cheer right into his pants. <laughs> like that Saturday Night Live uh, diaper commercial. Playing tennis and stuff, and they're expanded. He doesn't have a bowl full of jelly. He has boxers full of crap. <laughs> Boxers full of pudding. <laughs> I can't mace you now. I'm in love. I can't mace you. I'm strongly sexually attracted to you. I can't mace you. Because my ex-husband is in Aruba with, with his young girlfriend. <gasps> really? My ex-wife is in Hawaii with her young boyfriend. We have so much in common. Uh, Exposition. Fat, <laughs> fat Mayor Goldberg, uh, the WCW former wrestler, the Fat Mayor Goldberg, is like, you know who's getting arrested next? You are, Feldman. You're next. <laughs> Vanessa changed clothes. I got to hand it to her. I can't believe that the Hitman and Goldberg are both in this movie. This is unbelievable. I thought they would never work with each other again. I like being on top. He wanted to. Wasn't going to happen. If he's a virgin. <laughs> you didn't read him his rights. You are so bad at your job. Hey, she, re she says to him, you have the right to remain sexy. I mean, uh, uh, silence. silence. <laughs> silence. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I blacked out, Corey. I'm sorry. That is definitely a police car. It says so on the door. <laughs> police, 87154. So that's the number we call. It has five digits. <laughs> At least it's not 555. Five, five. <laughs> You're next. Yeah, I can't believe he's on. The, where's his security? Like when he's getting, <laughs> when he's coming on the scene. He ate them. <laughs> <laughs> They had, I guess they had no money in the budget for Pyro <laughs> for, every, for all of his scenes. That car's waiting for the stop sign to turn green. <laughs> yeah, because the guy who is in charge of the signs hasn't got over to the next shooting location. Okay, she is really bad at her job because now she's letting a guy go that broke into a factory and attacked people, went into a secret area with no access, and... She is the worst cop I have ever... She's worse than Dexter's sister. Yeah. That took, like, took 30 years to find out her brother was a serial killer. Um, she's even giving him presents now. It doesn't have nothing in its diaper. <laughs> this, this baby's safe. It doesn't speak in a strong Brooklyn accent. It's fine. It's fine. It doesn't fly and look like it's running. Yeah, it's not able to beat Usain Bolt in a 100-meter dash.
It talks in a strong Brooklyn accent and can fly in. Yeah. God, Corey had a busy shooting schedule this week. He had to do Celebrity House Hunters right after this. He was also on MTV's Room Raiders. And he also had to do uh, uh, a couple episodes of Punked where he was the one. Uh, they weren't actually trying to punk him because he's not famous enough anymore. He just happened to be on set in the background begging for food. Because I'm also a psychiatrist and a cop. A sexy psychiatrist. And your underwear. <laughs> I gave you a break last night because I intensely wanted to have sex with you. He's... What bruise? I see no surprised. bruise. If he's got a bruise, I'm surprised he don't have it like bandaged up and like, <laughs> you know, like ace, ace wrap just wrapped around his face like three times. Like the, like Universal Studios mummy. <laughs> yeah. You see this damage? You see this gash on my nose? Is that an audition for a better movie? Yeah. Because that's what people do. They they look at their watch and the cars. Oh, okay, that car. I was like, you're not pointing at the car, lady. Could they have found any clothes for this police officer that fit just a little bit better? I mean, those are the baggiest looking police officer clothes I've ever seen in my life. As stressed as he is, I'm surprised his hair is getting darker and not more gray. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you that's what I'm trying to say yeah I always like there to be extreme sensual sexual tension uh you know scenes in films when they're holding babies yeah <laughs> what other kind are there it's not bizarre at all and and he parked literally in the road at a stop sign to go on his little hike hey it's the same shot of the car driving up earlier to the house the, the girl who plays the daughter is like, oh, shit, I'm in another scene. Damn it. <laughs> she reminds me of somebody. I just can't place the name. Oh, my God. <laughs> Dad, what happened to that? Where'd you get that bruise that isn't actually on your face? Because we can't afford it in the budget for makeup. You know, it's felt like three hours since the last little pop up there. So that's accurate. This movie is short, but it feels like it's going longer than The Irishman. I mean, this I is awful. I thought you were Santa Claus for a second. You said ho, ho, ho like that. It's Christmas Pals. <laughs> Our kids are on drugs. So. If I clap like that for my kids, even when they were little, they would have slapped me. They would have said, Dad, you're fired. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop. Where, where on earth? What is in all these Bunsen beakers and, and, and bottles and stuff? What, and any, these, what's going on here? They got upgrades. So how far are we into this movie? An hour and the puppets have only been alive for like two minutes of this whole movie. There hasn't been one kill. We haven't had one kill yet. No. Oh. Oh. That one girl got sexually assaulted. Oh, she got uh, the... killed. She got oh, she did... got Iron Maiden. All right. Well, there go. Bad idea taking that summer job. She should have got laid first, and it would have been fine. <laughs> Flashback hit me in the face. God damn, <laughs> it hurt. I've got a bruise on my forehead now. That was actually the methamphetamine finally kicking in. Yeah, it finally kicked in. It's Scrooge McDuck is behind it all. <laughs> He's working with Magic of the Spell. They're trying to get Vanessa Angel's number one dime. Waiting for the for the uh, the Beastie Boys to come in. The Beagle Boys. <laughs> Beagle Boys. I said Beastie Boys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if the Beastie Boys made an appearance in this movie. Honestly, so. Oh, I'd love to see D uh, Adam Yock or you know any of those guys in here. But yes, the Beagle Boys and uh, 
Vanessa is the witch. Magic of the spell. I always, hey, in DuckTales, I always wondered why all of her spells to take over the world involved the number one dime. She's an expert sorceress. Just includes something else. Right. Life is like a hurricane <laughs> here in Duckburn. I used boops. to love those uh, Mickey Mouse ice cream bars that the ears like had chocolate. Oh yeah! Them. Oh yeah! And I love <clears throat> now that now that we're talking about it, the Disney, I uh, the Dizzy, the Disney, uh, what are they called? Like uh, fudge or popsicles that yeah. were shaped like Goofy and Mickey yes, and all those. And Donald, yeah, they and they had a kind that had like the vanilla ice cream in the middle of them. Oh, they were so good. Oh, and the Mickey Mouse ice cream sandwiches with the cookies and cream ice cream. Why don't they make that stuff anymore? Well, just because they, they they brought back Mickey Mouse ice cream uh, bars with like, but it's just vanilla ice cream with chocolate shell. It's not okay. like it used to be where it's like got the chocolate shell on the ears only with chocolate ice cream under the ears and the rest of the face is white. Hey, those weren't there earlier. <laughs> keep it on the hey, keep the shot on them longer, longer. The we don't believe the audience can notice that on their own. He had that other doll in his lap. That's wrong. A little bit longer. Let people realize. It's Super Ted. Corduroy. Don't do that. There's children watching. Well, she can't control herself when Corey's in the same room. Ooh, terrifying. <laughs> what are... This movie sucks. Yes. This if is one I of the worst movies I've anymore, ever seen. I'm killing myself. <laughs> it's only got 20 minutes or so before the credits roll. <laughs> it didn't even do any damage yeah, to her. It, like, nothing. Her neck and... <laughs> Bullets, my only weakness. That bear could have literally just been a toy that, you know, it just made a noise. But she should... That Christmas tree was the most Charlie Browniest looking Christmas tree I've ever seen in my life. She, what, she wouldn't have known which car to get into if it hadn't said police on it. Oh, that's, oh my God, that is so funny. They made it, the far, hey, he's not wearing a diaper. 12 hours till Christmas plot morning. Plot hole, plot hole. He said he was wearing a diaper earlier. He, he obviously was not wearing a diaper when he saw this. Yeah, he's going bareback, baby. How far? That works. Instead of baby, oops, a daisy, it's like baby. Oh, 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 oh God, a daisy. Daughter, you haven't had sex, have you? This isn't the right time to have the birds and the bees talk, Cor. This is actually uh, uh, a backstory for The Walking Dead. That's uh, Farmer's Daughter right there. Maggie, that, that's Maggie. That's who she reminds me of, like a young Maggie. Here in a second, Glenn's going to pop up and be like, I found you, Maggie. I don't like how Corey's talking sexually to these dolls while he's inserting his daughter's blood into their And asking body. if she's still a virgin. Yeah, and then he said little prick, too. Like, something going on with this guy. The puppets are like, they, they used to be able to talk, but they started telling on the people what he was doing to them so he took away their speech yeah well they used to be able to talk but after they had like more than one conversation with Corey, they're like we just there's nothing of use that we we're getting out of this guy like <laughs> it's better just to pretend like we're mute this guy is nuts evil sort of evil gets an upgrade <laughs> evil question mark gets an upgrade <laughs> this is why small soldiers 2 was never made 
This is small soldiers too. <laughs> what about me? Do I look tough? Yeah, now he's giving them pep talks now. I'm in this movie. <laughs> you can't believe it again. Wow, that tequila like gave him laser powers apparently. Hey, who you calling Pinhead? I mean, let's just be the honest. The other rock I mean, and sock and robot? Yeah, but hey, Josh, let's just be honest here. Uh, Corey had to deal with uh, acting in scenes with a lot worse people. I mean, Corey Haim was really filming it in towards the end of his career there. The acting is literally wooden in this scene. <laughs> The most wooden acting I've ever seen. Tough acting to acting. That's what acting. Shit! All that, all that spray just like flaked out of his hair. Here comes she? the one cop. <laughs> the, yeah, yes, the one cop. We're in love now because I've seen the dolls come alive. I'm a lunatic as well. The lunatic is in your head. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. When was he? When did he start being able to shoot laser beams? A second ago. Remember they showed it, and I was like, "It's, it's the the vodka was the upgrade that gave him laser power." What the hell? You are very observant. She is. <laughs> Very observant for a police officer, man. Well, you know, they have to be because, you know, they investigate stuff. You know, they can't, she can't just follow her loins around the whole film, Josh. <laughs> okay, you can quit making the shocked face, please. It looks like you're doing something else. She doesn't look shocked anymore. Now she looks, like, intrigued or evil. Like, I can't read her very well. The only way that those dolls would not kill her in, in canon is if she wasn't a Toulon, so... There's some inbreeding going on here. Apparently, she's got too long blood. Well, you know, first off, this isn't canon. And number two, um, they respect people in uniform. So, <laughs> and if they kill her, the whole town would lose their entire police force. Yeah, yeah. And they're also waiting to see if she's going to take this clothes off. <laughs> they paid good money for this. No more flashbacks. I just feel like a flashback should come. When she talks, she and she's emphasizing something. She has to have pauses and inflect. Okay. I'm in the car. <laughs> this I'm is my least. A phone. <laughs> yeah, that's my least favorite of the puppets and toys. I want him to die. I like the Jack in the Box. I don't know why. <laughs> Are you a virgin, Mister Harry? Butt called. Oh. What are you going to say? No, yeah. I, that's what I was going to say. Do you have a pencil? And now I've had to say it twice. Thank you. <laughs> is his voice, is that actually his voice or did someone dub over him? I don't know. They probably thought he sounded too Canadian. <laughs> we need to fix this, eh? Another two hours have gone by. Little monsters. <laughs> Haunted masks that come alive when you watch a commercial. Gigantic corporations that can't afford to have self-raising gates. One person police force that doesn't even have the name of the town or county on their car. Uh, 30 nuts. A 32-year-old father of a 16-year-old that has premature gray hair from scene to scene. It's not consistent. And an invisible bruise. A cut that healed within three hours. <laughs> and, 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 and the population of teenagers that want to play with a doll, a stuffed bear, and a jack-in-the-box for Christmas. And Scrooge McDuck is behind it all. I love the Family Guy episode where uh, Peter jumps in the vat of 
points and it just like breaks all of his bones. Yeah, he broke his neck when he dove in. He's like, oh, this isn't like the cartoon at it's all. It's not a liquid. It's it's, it's a bunch of solids. Uh, oh lord. That's what flashlights do when you hit radios with them. They explode into flames. It, it, the, the same people that made that radio made the laptop he was using earlier. <laughs> That's the only thing carried over from the other movies, the trunk. <laughs> it's the only thing that's canon. It's the trunk that carries the, the puppets. The puppets are like, you know, why don't you just leave us in here for the rest of the movie? Yeah, we have enough this time. I love this 13-year-old girl being played by, like, a 20-year-old woman. <laughs> it's just like horror movies in the 80s. They would always cast people Wait. that were, like, 30 years old to play teenagers. Wait, don't take her yet. Is she a virgin? Gotta make sure. We gotta make sure that her creepy dad hasn't got to her first. What's going on in here? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take my pants off. There's something going on down there. Yeah, that's like Three's company. He comes out, comes in right at the wrong time. I'm starting to think that's not his real voice now. You got me yeah, paying attention. <laughs> it doesn't it doesn't seem like it. Or by a ladybug magnet. Josh, he just farted. Uh, propelled I himself have no words. and knocked Corey out. For four hours. That was a four-hour <laughs> fart knockout. Oh, Vanessa Angel, what's going on here? Oh, God, I here? can't even talk now. Oh, my God. What is that outfit, though? I don't care. I don't even care how many rabbits had to die for that outfit. I'm right here watching this pile of shit. That's where I am. All right, two guys in the elevator, you know... On the other side of the wall is like pulling those doors open. <laughs> the one guy, he's got it set up to some elaborate pulley system where he has to like have a ship's wheel turn. Same guy that lifts the gate. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't piss that doll off. He will fart and knock your ass out. Unwrap that present. I should save my daughter, but I. You know, I'd rather sleep with you, but I, I, and the cop also wants to sleep with me, and I just have no idea what to do. His hair has gotten darker and darker this whole movie. I need to know how long they shot this film. There's no way that this movie was in production longer than a week. Yeah. It's like if Freddy versus Jason happened, and like, an hour and ten minutes into the movie, right when they're about to fight, Jason gets put in a box. Um, this is the worst kill her? I've ever seen. I guess the doll even figured he couldn't take out the whole police force. Oh, get you, get you like a shit ton of gauze and tape. Yeah, she, well, you know what? She's dating Corey now. You know, she would have been able to bandage that up, but Corey's a son of a bitch, and he used all of it in the house. That car. Yeah, you, she searched. She searched the entire house, and nobody was in there in that ten seconds. Yeah, all forty-seven rooms. Their mansion. <laughs> hey, the lights work. I'm actually shocked. Yes, your puppets and Mister Dick. Wait, Dude, that it, is gross. You have so to he's, see your daughter before you have sex? That he's got is... His... Go ahead. He has a huge bruise on his cheek now. That he was supposed to have like an hour ago. It's it was finally in the there. Script, but not the makeup artist wasn't there that day for when they were talking they're like, about it. They're like, fuck it. <laughs> no one's going to notice that. Vanessa Angel's like, I told you I wanted to make love to you. And you said you wanted to see your daughter first. We're done. This is just 
We're done. <laughs> I don't do any sexual activity until I see my see daughter. My daughter. <laughs> <laughs> the movie, Not Without My Daughter, that Sally Field starred in was actually a Corey Feldman uh, pilot uh, project that was, you know, never I optioned until now. In your what? But we didn't do it. You didn't let me see my daughter first. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> what 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 is what is the explanation for this? Who's gonna be able to open the gate now? Yeah, they're fucked. They're never gonna get back that into that gate parking is lot ever never again. Never going to open again. No, that tr that same truck is not gonna be able to drive in and out five or six times a day now. Seriously though, what the Hi. hell were they thinking? Claudia, having a guy? Are you Claudia? Are you a virgin? You want to meet the board of directors? Oh shit! She really said it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> I didn't even. I was joking. Uh, the, it's not going to open and close. She, she shot the guy that opens everything. Yeah, who's going to open the elevator door? <laughs> See, they didn't even open all the way. That is a teeny tiny elevator. And that is a god awful uniform. Jeez, time is flying, man. Jesus Christ. See, he knows it too. <laughs> I don't think, Josh, I don't think if we weren't being forced to watch this movie that I would have ever watched this in my entire life. They're in the Scrooge McDuck gang. <laughs> this That's is how it's going to go, Scrooge. We're going to get you number one dime, see? <laughs> I thought that was Hugh and Dewey. <laughs> I am magic of the spell. Louie was fucked because he was a virgin and he got sacrificed. So <laughs> it's just Huey and Dewey now. Uh, Corey kind of looked like he looked when he saw the people having sex across from his house in the final chapter. That was the same like excitement look. Uh, actually, they just filmed him. Uh, they got it. That was his reaction when he first saw the script. <laughs> he jumped behind the couch. No, the he was actually very excited to even see a script be delivered to his house. <laughs> I want... I'm not going there. I'm not going there. Take me to my daughter. I want to sleep with Vanessa Angel. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'll you, go I could go there. <laughs> yeah, I'll go there. You're fine. <clears throat> It stands for sharpshooter. <laughs> oh, we got another flashback. I've been waiting for this. I love being dizzy. I'm so dizzy. This movie sucks ass. His, his bruise moved from the, from, the, from the other side of his face to his cheek. It absolutely did. And it's lighter. That, that puppet needs a Mentos, man. They should have, like, medically cleared that hobo before they hired him. There you go, folks. That was what they spent on CGI. The eyes I know out. how you feel, buddy. I felt like my eyes were going to do that three times or four times during this flick. So it's 30 minutes till Christmas. Does that mean we're going to have one pop-up that says 17 minutes, one that says 10 minutes? 25 seconds, then like 10 minutes later, 15 seconds. Blade just made things worse. He set the thing free. Blade, you're a bad, bad puppet. Is he fucking? Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, so whenever it's in the box, it can stretch as long as it wants, but once when it's tied up to something, its power's gone. She's actually been trying to get in there for like 30 minutes, and she's just now figured out how to get out of the revolving door. You still there, yeah. Alex? Yeah, it said it said we lost the call, uh, and I paused it at, with 11.17 left. Are you back on? I'm on, yeah. I'm just waiting. I'm at 11.17 left. Do you hear me? Yeah. Okay, you, yeah. It is just, she opening it the elevator the call. for you? Uh, no, the cop is coming in through the swinging, uh, like, door yeah. area, the glass door. 
Okay, so you just tell me when to press play. Just go ahead and hit it. Okay. Skip forward until you see them in an elevator point guns at each other. Okay. Sorry, folks. She's using the medallion to go up in the elevator. <laughs> um, okay, I see her with a gun on the elevator. They have guns on each other. Yeah, go a little further. To where okay. the puppets and them. She's like on a phone inside the elevator with the puppets. Got it. Here I She's am. Four minutes till Christmas. Right now. That's the daughter when she found out she was actually got the part for the film. Somebody help her, please. <laughs> for the love of God, don't let me actually do this shitter. Hit pause for like two seconds and hit play. All I'm right. sorry. We've already got a virgin in the chamber. You'll have to wait your turn. Never, tur never hurt anybody to prepare for, you know, for the future. A virgin saved is a virgin earned. A virgin in the hand is worth two in their bush. <laughs> and speaking of bush, this is me, Corey Feldman. I don't go near a bush unless my daughter's around. Hey. <laughs> Let me see my daughter. <laughs> Christian you know Bell. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's Satan Claus. The only thing that could save the daughter from, you know, imminent death is if it turned to daylight because he's in Little Monsters. <laughs> right. He'll just turn into a pile of clothes. How the Grinch stole an hour and a half of my life. <laughs> How the Grinch stole ratings. Oh my god, the whole police force is here. <laughs> they must mean business. The entire police force is here. <laughs> Josh, that's good shit. It is. The SWAT team is just her with a vest on and a mask. <laughs> and a stripper pizza guy. They put all the budget into the makeup. Either that, or that's just what the actor looks like. It was just a happy coincidence. Yeah, just a happy co They found a demon. And Trantor the Troll came. Finally, with like two seconds left in the movie, it's Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys. Yeah, and a lot of people bitch about Freddy versus Jason not having enough fight scenes. Wait till they watch this pile of shit. Finally, let's begin. <laughs> Corey Feldman could have been in Freddy vs. Jason as Tommy Jarvis. He There was literally a script written with his character in there. But no, that she movie was released done. in 2003. Why she, why she he decided to do this in 2004. Yeah, this is the better, the better bet. What the hell? Those chains are like those plastic ones you can buy at Halloween at like Walmart. <laughs> the clearance. Okay, <laughs> like, puppets, it's like the... puppets, do something. They still haven't done anything. They still haven't fought. Yes. Damn, pal, Biff. Hey, the cop is actually not used to having backup ever, so she doesn't know how to proceed. Who untied the clown? He's going to fart on you. I knew it. I knew it. I hope Blade fucks that bear up. I hope he shits himself next time. He's going for the gold here in Nagano at the Winter Olympics. If he if Blade can land it, he will medal. Six shooter is part stormtrooper, apparently. Chester, you are literally useless. You are yes. literally useless. Blade putting in some work and sticks the landing, Josh. Is that a is that a bear or a monkey? <laughs> She's gotta get back in the Technodrome. Bebop, rock steady. 
<laughs> Stop! Don't kill my daughter! I must see her! That guard is a tough son of a bitch, man. I'm just... Holy bad crossover Batman! Oh, please. Please kill that baby. Yes, please. Thank you. Oh, he's got like the uh, slime from Nickelodeon. No, honey. We're going to wait till the very last second. We have to have some suspense in this movie. Jackpot. Did that monster that we said was from Little Monsters just reference that the sun was rising? Yes. He is going to turn into a pile of clothes and sneakers. That guard, they, he should have been the big bad. That guard has done more damage to... Okay. You asshole. That was uncalled for. They're poking me. I'm not a virgin anymore. She's just up there working out, you know? Just. I wonder what's going through her head when she was filming this scene because she was in king kingpin and so many good things she hey I, her character is the best one in this movie yeah, she's the most believable easily well i always said she was hot there's another dad joke for you dude i love Corey feldman and this is horrible he's like vanessa come back i got to see my daughter damn it <laughs> Holy bloody daughter, Batman. No, literally, she's my daughter. She's bloody and she's full of holes. They just got that prop from the movie Blade. It would just happen to be on set where Blade's like getting all of his blood sucked out of his body for Stephen Dorff to become the blood god. Hey, after after what this sergeant has done, she I guarantee she's going to be able to, pr to promote herself to captain. Yeah, she's like, you did a damn good job. I'm I'm recommending you for the Medal of Merit. All oh, emotional scene, emotional scene. Jester, don't even, don't even act like you did something. Don't even. You hit the clown. That's it. That's all you did. And you spun your head. The Fuck only you, Jester. Fuck the you. only the only reason Corey didn't win a Razzie for this movie was because it wasn't actually theatrically released. <laughs> That's the only reason. Because this sucks. Well, Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys, guys. You made it through this movie. She's calling herself for backup. <laughs> She's calling her uh, future self, or her herself in the past, to tell her tell her present self not to do the film. Calling her voicemail, leaving a voicemail. We need backup. Uh, don't do this film. Yeah, we just almost got killed by a demon, and, and all the people died in there, and yeah, I'm so hungry. Let's go eat. My bruise is gone again, by the way. <laughs> no, it's actually stretched it's, it's up. It's moved back. It moved to where it's supposed to be. It's not on his cheek anymore. Look. He's like, I'm starving, and I'm horny. Hold on. Let me look at my daughter. We're good. Let's go. And they're looking at my daughter. We'll cut that part out, too. How is she going to have time to visit anybody? She's on duty 24-7. She's the only fucking game in town. She just promoted herself to captain, so it's going to get even more hectic. I'm actually a stripper. <laughs> I'm not really the police. I can't believe you guys really thought I was. Josh, this... this... Jingle bells... Wait. This is the worst. This is Dr. Evil or Master Evil outdid himself this time. Jingle bells, jingle bells, this movie sucks ass. <laughs> and meanwhile, back in the Technodrome. Great. Who lived? Who Great. lived? So this is what Artie Lang did after he left the Howard Stern show. He yeah. did voiceover work. The nose has even collapsed, right? 
Yeah, jeez, man. Those photos of Artie laying that after blow? that. That was a low blow. I'm that sorry. That was bad. Yeah, Artie, if you ever do our show, you know, we're sorry. Yeah, 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 definitely. Uh, wow. So, yeah, that was, uh, that was a movie. Yeah, it had scenes yep. and everything. Movie, but it was yeah. on TV and a release. Of... I mean, look, there's, look at all these people that worked on it. Sorry. I can't believe all these people had to work together as one unit to They're put out Russian. Yeah, to put out a piece of crap like this. Charlotte Young, I'm sorry you were you had to work on this. That's the shortest credits I've ever seen in my life, though. It's like all it's already over. It's like just put it on super speed. People are done. Just they, you know. Josh. Oh God, was, is there is there a scene? That was the way. Yeah. Well, here comes Nick Fury. Oh. Whew. Nothing. Wow. Wow. That just happened. The worst movie we've seen. It just beat Ghoulies. That was really? horrendous. <laughs> yeah, that was horrendous. Easily the worst <laughs> we've watched. Clown over my shoulder there. It sucked um, so bad. The whole movie, I was like hoping he would come alive and just eat me. <laughs> come you on, put, put us out of our misery. No, that was horrible. Horrible. I know, Master Evil really, really outdid himself uh, yeah. on this one. Uh, Jesus Christ. He sure did. And now he's calling. Great. All right, hold on. Hello, Mr. Hey, uh, Evil. We're still here. We're okay. Drat! I see your sanity is still intact. Most part. That's okay, because next week I will drive you absolutely mad. God, what could be worse than what we just watched? How about the Black Mountain Madman? <laughs> Never heard of it. Indeed, and soon you will know why. Wait, 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 what's that supposed to mean? Josh. Just drop it. You and I both, we don't want to know. Just drop it. Let's just say there will be a couple more Mad Men when the credits roll. Honey, you said you would clean this litter box out. My did! Mr. Flivel has tummy ache! Well, it's not going to clean itself. Oh, fine. See you next week, prisoners. <laughs> oh, and Alex, see you next Sunday for pay per view. Yes. Bye bye. I mean, goodbye for now. <laughs> okay. So, let me recap here. Mr. Flivel has a tummy ache. And you're going to go watch a pay-per-view at his house on Sunday. You've got yeah. it so bad. Well, Mr. Flivel's on the mend, and uh, Mother Evil is on one because he's not cleaning the litter box, which makes it uncomfortable. It's very awkward, Josh, when I'm over there. I can barely eat the buffet that's provided during the pay-per-views. The buffet? Oh, okay. Yeah. Now, now I know why I smoke. <laughs> oh, my God. It's listen. The last buffet though was was substandard because Master Evil's really been dogging it on his chores and stuff. There was only two different kinds of protein, so I think we had like uh, we had like some sort of shrimp penne pasta deal, and then I think we had like a beef medallions, uh, which was actually a nice tableside flambe that Mother uh, Evil did for us. That was pretty nice. She's good. Like, have you, you ever know seen? What he those? got me. You know what he gave huh. me to eat last what? time. He gave me a banquet. It was bread yeah. with no butter and salad with no dressing. No entree. He pulled it straight from Ghoulies, you fucker. <laughs> At least you weren't eating in Nilbog. Piss-covered cookies. I mean, I it would could be rather be, I'd rather eat the piss-covered cookies and be eaten than have to deal with the shit I go through compared to what you go through. Like, oh. it's a wonder that I, that I smoke so much, honestly. It, it, it makes so much sense now. So... Where are you getting those cigarettes from, Josh? The Rodeo Clown Fred is a heavy smoker, okay? He lets me bum off of him. But that's not important. That's not important. Not important. So Fred gives is, you some Lucy's. 
whenever he's here watching, it's hard not to look over, and he's smoking, and I'm wanting a cigarette, and he's nice enough to give me one. The point is, you wake up at 2 in the morning, and you have a rodeo clown staring at you, you want a cigarette. It's just It just helps break the tension. The point is, you and him are better friends than you put on. Your torture's not as bad as you say. I know better. And now I have to watch a movie next week that I know nothing about, no way to prepare for this thing, and apparently you know about it. Black well, Mountain yeah. Madman. What the fuck? I'm, I'm familiar with the production of the film, but, you, you know, I don't like that you're projecting this rodeo clown nonsense on me because I didn't have anything to do with that. Master Evil told me while we were uh, shopping the other day at Costco. <laughs> Costco. No, I was Sam's chained Club. to the cart. Hey, I was metaphorically chained to the cart. I wasn't actually changed. I wasn't actually changed the cart, but uh, Mother Evil was only allowing us to pick like three or four items to put in the cart, so that was that was tough. But I'm familiar with the production of this movie, Josh, and it's not good. Okay, it's not a good film. It's going to be a real shitter. And uh, just brace yourself. All right, is, I've is seen it, like it a couple Puppet times. Master versus Ghoulies, bad or it's it's like J Friday the Thirteenth Part Two met Puppet Master versus. <laughs> De demonic toys bad yes and he's gonna make us talk to people that were in this movie is he gonna kidnap them as well no they're he put them up in the east wing of his house and you know ryan thomas johnson wouldn't help us and i'm i'm guessing they're not gonna help us either huh i can't speak help for them me. but i can't speak for them but right. i would assume okay. no probably not so on the next episode of slash tracks we're gonna be watching the black mountain madman and then we're going to be forced to do another episode of Getting Sidetracked with Alex and Josh, where we interview who from this movie? Uh, we're going to be interviewing Mackenzie Baldwin, who was the star of the film. He's Pillowcase, the killer. And oh, wow. we're also going to interview the writer of the film, uh, Brian Johnson. All right. So there you have it, Slashaholics. Tune in to the next episode to see our riff on Black Mountain Madman. And then shortly after, you'll get to see an interview with the uh, star and writer of the movie. Thanks for hanging with us tonight in our, well, my dungeon. Uh, this has been the 80 Slasher Librarian, Josh LaRue, Fred the Rodeo Clown, and... Alex Vanover. And this has been Slash Tracks. Have a great, great couple weeks. We'll see you next time. You really suck, dude. Seriously. <laughs> Fuck you. Have fun at your pay-per-view. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Uh, you know what my pay-per-view is? What? I have to do like 10 chores and he lets me turn the lights on for a few minutes. That's my pay-per-view. Okay? <laughs> he lets you... Your pay-per-view is you get to pay to watch uh, the Rodeo Clown go to sleep. <laughs> exactly. Pretty much. I get the lights on for a few minutes. That's it. So you're not out of your mind the entire time watching it? Yeah. And at least then I know what the Rodeo Clown's up to because it's, it's quite frightening when it's pitch black. You don't know what's going on in that barrel. But... Yeah. What up, I'll Josh? What up, Alex? Slash track. What's going on? I'm busting in the damn head. <laughs> <laughs>